Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Ted Carr here, and I'm doing one of my favorite things ever. I'm having a smoothie that I've put everything into. This is like the ultimate superfood smoothie, man. It's got, check it out. So, as I'm making this smoothie, I'm listening to YouTube videos in the background about the benefits of every single ingredient that I'm putting in. So when I'm putting in bananas, I watch a YouTube video talking about the benefits of bananas. When I put in these three handfuls of blueberries, locally grown blueberries that I've fr uh, frozen in the freezer to uh, last through the winter, I'm listening to the benefits of blueberries. When I'm adding in the reishi mushroom powder, I'm listening to the benefits of reishi mushroom. It gets me so pumped up. And as I'm putting in the daily green boost, you know, I'm listening to videos with the benefits of daily green boost. As I'm putting in the shaga tea that I'm making right here, fresh shaga tea, see it's boiling away there, you gotta boil it for at least two hours, or, you know, ideally four hours, but I'm just boiling it for two hours. I'm just scooping it off the top, I'm listening to the benefits of shaga mushroom, and I add that in here, because the bananas are kind of frozen, blueberries are kind of frozen, and so I just add some hot water to it, and now the smoothie isn't super, super cold. It's just kind of room temperature. It's super delicious, though. Mm. I even had some leftover maca powder that I had in there in the cupboard down there for, like, ever. So I added uh, some maca in there, and I'm listening to the benefits of maca, which I don't normally have. I'm also listening to the benefits of echinacea, because I got some echinacea powder down there as well. Right? So I just add all this stuff. And as I'm, as I'm listening to the benefits of all these different things, I'm feeling... So fortunate to have stumbled upon this diet and lifestyle of health and vitality. And I remember that's what really got me into meditation as well, listening to the benefits of meditation. And what got me into raw food in the first place was just hearing David Wolf talk about the benefits of, of chocolate and blueberries and the antioxidant content. And I'd have, I remember having breakfast and it would be just a bowl of cacao nibs and blueberries. And I thought it was like the healthiest thing in the world. And I think because I thought it was the healthiest thing in the world and I felt amazing about that, I really extracted all the value from it. So every day now, as a, as a raw vegan, as a fruitarian, as a, as a fruit-based vegan athlete, every time I eat a meal, I know it's healthy for me because I've done my homework, I've done my studying, I've researched every single food that I put into my body. And now when I make a smoothie like this, I feel like absolutely blessed. Mm. It tastes amazing. I know it's super healthy for me. I know it's going to digest very well for me. And I know it's, just, it's going to give me everything my body needs without giving my body anything that it doesn't need. It's not going to harm my body in any way. This is a harmless smoothie. And it's the furthest thing from, from, from harmful, man. It's actually like empowering. I feel just like, oh, let's go. Supercharged. So if you want to love your diet, do some research on the benefits of every single food that you're eating. Google benefits of apples and read all about the benefits of apples. Next time you have a salad with some spinach in it, Google and YouTube search benefits of spinach. I got some frozen spinach here, man. I throw this in my smoothies every now and then. You know, I bought too much one time and I'm like, no worries, I'm not throwing it out. I'll just freeze it. Or, sorry, uh, yeah, freeze it. And you can also put stuff in the fridge as well. You don't need to, to freeze it necessarily. Like bananas, when they start to go ripe, you don't need to put them in the, in the freezer right away. You can just uh, put them in the fridge. But if you are, gonna, if you are going to uh, f freeze your bananas, freeze them with the skin on. See what I did here? This is just hot. It's like a hot tub water. And I, I freeze my bananas with the skin on. See, these ones I haven't even peeled yet. But they're totally, um, totally good to go now. Because you just thaw them in this hot water. It takes like five minutes and they're totally thawed. It's really easy and they come out tasting way better than the bananas that have been freezing without their skin on. So really easy to do man, just freeze them with the skin on. Bada bing, bada boom. So that's it, that's all man. I just want to make this video and let you, let you know that I'm feeling amazing having this superfood smoothie, which I don't normally have. I normally keep my meals quite simple, but got a retreat coming up in a couple days and just felt like I could give my body everything uh, that, it, that it needs, especially after a uh, past couple fasts I've just done. I did a, a three-day fast a few days ago, and did a 48-hour fast, just broke that yesterday. And uh, now that I'm back to eating, I'm like, okay, let's put in the best fuel, man. Let's just optimize everything. So now that my body's super clean from the fast, 
I put in this absolute superfood smoothie and I just feel like I am stoked, man. I was already stoked for the retreat, but now I'm even more stoked. So I'm going to uh, get going tonight. I think my buddy Garrett's going to be here in, in a few minutes and then we're going to, he doesn't know it yet, but we're gonna probably going to head to the spa and uh, just chill out, man. Boy spa, hit the sauna, hit the steam room, hit the, uh, I don't like the hot tub. Hit the steam room, hit the sauna, and hit the cold tub. There's a cold tub there. Do some Wim Hof. <sighs> Super fun, man. All right. I'm out of here. Peace out. And uh, I'm thinking about doing a retreat this Christmas and New Year's. So if you want to come celebrate Christmas with me, you want to, um, you know, have a Christmas tree and have gifts and have Christmas dinner with me and then celebrate New Year's together. That'd be super, super fun. I'd love to do that if you're interested in that. Awesome. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Give this video a thumbs up if you got some sort of motivation, inspiration, or any insight while watching this. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love. Peace out. And just know that you don't need to do drugs to feel effing amazing, man. You can feel effing amazing naturally. In fact, feeling effing amazing naturally is really the only way to sustainably feel effing amazing. Because when you feel effing amazing on drugs, you come down super hard and life sucks and you gotta go back to the drug. So focus on the fruit, focus on the fruit, focus on the fruit. Make sure you're going to bed early, getting plenty of sleep. Make sure you're getting in your meditations each day. Make sure you're seeing friends every day. Make sure you're expressing yourself creatively every day. But when it comes to diet, focus on the fruit. And just know also that, that Eating is not going to give you necessarily the body of your dreams. You also got to go to the gym and, and tone those muscles, work those muscles, all right? So keep everything in mind here. If you if you got something out of this video, maybe you want to watch it one, once more through. I always like to watch good videos two times through, and uh, I always get so much more out of it the second time I watch it. So peace out, much love. And lastly, I just want to say, just throwing it out there because I've been loving this girl lately. Check out Tash Sultana on YouTube. Her music is amazing. All right. Peace. Ciao.